Hi everyone, this is Stephen. Before we get into the course, I'd like to uh, go through the disclaimer. The information presented in this video and all the videos in this course are through Wealthy Education and are for educational purposes only. ...to buy or sell any specific security, equity, or option. Now let's get into advanced technical analysis. In Module 1, we'll be talking about support and resistance indicators. In our first video, we're going to be talking about multiple time frame analysis. It's not a complicated concept, but it's important that you understand it as we'll be using it throughout the course. So in multiple time frame analysis, we review two to three different time frames weekly and monthly chart of a stock before we make a trading decision. And the reason we do this is because different time frames can tell us different stories about where our stock is headed, whether or not it's in a trend or it's not trending. The time frames I want to look at three different time frames that are close together or else you'll basically get the same picture. If you're looking at a one minute a two minute and a three minute chart, it's really not going to help you out to get a bigger picture. You want to be able to zoom out from your trading time frame and then to zoom in from your trading time frame as well. For example, if you're trading on an hourly basis, then you may want to look at a daily chart to get a larger picture of what type of trend the stock is in. And then as you get ready to execute a trade, time frame and then use that 15 minute chart to confirm either your give us conflicting signals as to whether to go long or short a stock or to not take multiple time frame analysis on a chart and see what that looks like. Let's look at multiple time frame analysis on a chart of Bank of America. If we look at the chart, we see that the stock has been trading in a range for several months now. It trades up to a high of 33 and then later reaches a high of just over 31 in May, goes up to 32 in August. So it's trading in the low 30s at the high end of the range. And at the low end of the range, I've drawn a support line at the 28 level. 28 was resistance back in October of 2017, and it then became support. And you can see the stock bounced off of the 28 level in July of 18. And here in October of 18, it's trading right at the on an hourly basis. So we've identified the range that it's in, and we believe it's right around a support level on the daily chart. Hourly chart, which is the time frame we'll be using to trade Bank of America. So we see, again, it's right around the support level. We can see the stock has trended down to the support level, which we knew from the daily chart. And it's bouncing, and we're seeing some doji and small-bodied candlesticks here. So this is a positive sign on the hourly chart that we're getting some bouncing in the stock. But we also have these negative candlesticks. So right now, if we want to trade on an hourly basis and use our 28 level of support, then we may want to use this candlestick, which has a low, this candlestick, which has a low of 2764, combined with this candlestick, which also has a low of 2764. So we have a tweezer bottom here as our stop. So if we purchase the stock here at 28, we may want to use that as our stop because if it breaks through that level, then it's gone through support and it's gone through the hourly low in the past couple of hours. Now what we want to do is go up here and look 
little bit closer in to where the stock is. We can see our support level at 28. The stock is trading just below it, but on the 15 minute chart, we have some positive price action. Here we have a bullish engulfing pattern with a large green candlestick engulfing the red candlestick, and the stock has broken above the high of this candlestick, which was 27.95 up to 28.01. So on a 15 minute chart, we see the stock starting to move up the support level. Now we can add indicators. So let's look at adding the MACD and see what that tells us at this level. So if we add the MACD, we can see we've got a positive divergence. The stock has continued to move down. But let's back out to our hourly chart again. And we see it's just about to move to a buy signal in the MACD here. And then let's look again at our daily. What the MACD is telling us. And see here we have the MACD still trending down. So the MACD is telling us on a daily chart that it may not be a buy just yet. So we can put all of that together and, th and make our decision. Frame of what your risk tolerance is. But if we want to go to that hourly chart and if that's what we're trading, then we're coming right up to a buy signal here. So if I were for it to cross above that 28 level before making a purchase. So that's how we use multiple time frame analysis in deciding whether or not to take a position in a stock that we're looking to trade. I'd like to thank you for watching this video on multiple time frame analysis. As I said earlier in the video, we'll be using multiple time frame analysis in each one of the technical indicators that we're looking at. So you'll get a chance to see multiple time frame analysis in a variety of situations as we go through this course. In the next video, we'll be looking at horizontal support and resistance. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.